Sleepy Cats is a speed game, which is really weird, right? Like, quick, play the Sleepy Cats as fast as you can. This is a matching game where you're going to match cards as fast as you can. I've already said that because I'm trying to explain the game to you. Uh, here, now, let me show you. In this game, each player is going to have their own deck of cards with cats. You'll all start with one of these cards from your deck on the board, connect it, and then you say go. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn over a card, and you need to put it down next to a matching cat. However, you can't match a card that has your same color. See this? That's the yarn. I can't put it here. That's illegal. I can put it here, though, because those match. Apparently, I only have to match one of them, but you got to watch all the cards that you're next to. Meanwhile, this person says, I'll put one here. Well, they match both sides. Convenient. You're going to keep doing that until one person gets through all the cards in their deck. They win, although you will first check again to make sure their cards match another card and that they have not put two of their cards next to each other. And that person wins. <coughs> I mean... It's just a speed game. You're just playing cards as fast as you possibly can. I don't know. What am I supposed to say here? The, the thing is, you're trying to match the cats, which isn't hard, but you're trying not to match your own color or that little symbol that's in the middle of the card, and that is trickier. But you know what? This game outstays its welcome after one play. I can't really recommend buying it. So it's not awful, I guess, but I don't like it. Five out of 10. Sleepy Cats. I This is, I think, came with, you know, it's like a small you can carry in your pocket, so there's that, but not good enough.